and uh, we're just two days away from the inaugural, which is on the 18th uh, of November. Vicky Clark, who's an art historian, uh, critic, and uh, educationist. I have uh, the culture counselor. Yeah. I have Cezanne <coughs> Naksh, and so we have uh, curator Jamil Naksh's uh, exhibition, which is the prize exhibition of our uh, festival. We have uh, Faisal from uh, Serena, our supporters. We have Rahat Masood, uh, a renowned artist and curator, who has contributed to this uh, festival. We have, uh, should I introduce him? <coughs> <coughs> so I'm not introducing him. He's a sculptor yeah. <laughs> of sort. I have my wife, Amna. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. I'll talk a little bit about uh, the festival. Islamabad Art Festival is uh, an inclusive platform <coughs> which uh, includes all possible art forms or disciplines of art, including uh, painting, sculpture, prints, installations, and visual arts. And performing arts, it, it uh, includes dance, theater, music, cinema, literature, and uh, we'll also be organizing uh, workshops and talks and conferences, uh, including uh, the Afro-Asian Writers Conference and our own uh, main conference called uh, Aesthetic Encounter Between Tradition and Modernity. This is our focus. Uh, because this is our first chapter, I thought we should give it a context. And the context is tradition. And I believe that. Uh, we can boost of uh, having or being uh, the custodian of uh, one of the most enviable cultural heritage in the world. If we start from Mahargarh, it is almost 9,500 years, uh, uh, you know, till our current living culture. And it is full of diversity. Like our terrain, our cultural narrative is also beautiful and uh, layered and it has fantastic mechanisms for uh, you know engaging the individuals with their surroundings in the most meaningful and intimate manner uh, that was the stance and i thought uh, we should project pakistan uh, in a new light and present its real image not uh, the proverbial soft image which was coined uh, a few years back by by a dictator. <clears throat> I insist that our real image is much softer than the softest image they can project. And the good thing is that this festival is also international, and we are very fortunate that uh, uh, around 230 international artists are visiting, participating in this uh, festival, and over 300 Pakistani artists have contributed. G, I'm sorry. Uh, it is inclusive and I forgot craft. And craft is something that uh, we tend to forget. I'm sorry. Crafts, you know, is uh, like a um, catalyst or lifeline for our culture and it can uh, energize our economy also. So we have uh, a whole cluster dedicated to crafts, which is the Crafts Village. Islamabad Art Festival will be uh, spread all over Islamabad. Uh, there are over 13 clusters showing the arts, uh, artworks of, uh, you know, so many artists that I uh, mentioned. And uh, there'll be series of uh, lectures, series of workshops, series of uh, conferences, and many, many shows, cultural shows, musical shows, theater performances, uh, cinema screenings from all over the world, including uh, 
uh, a prized film from one of my favorite directors, Russian director, Nikita Mikhailkov, uh, you know, uh, along with so many others. And uh, we are here to talk to you. Let me thank my uh, uh, supporters. Most importantly, Serena Hotels. Uh, I'm thankful for the generosity of uh, Serena Hotel. And since um, Serena is associated with uh, a very, very uh, you know, productive person who's behind many, many cultural initiatives safeguarding our culture, uh, Prince Karim Aga Khan and Aga Khan uh, Foundation <coughs> for arts and crafts and you know architecture. Uh, we thank Serena. Thank you very much, Faisal Saab. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll request Faisal Saab to say a few things, uh, whatever he has to say. Faisal Saab, please. Uh, thank you very much, Vasab. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Excellencies, friends, I welcome you all at Serena Hotel uh, in first ever Islamabad Art Festival 2019. And uh, <coughs> we, are, uh, we are partnering our, uh, as a lead partner with Islamabad Art Festival uh, under the Culture Diplomacy, which is an initiative of Serena Hotel. Uh, by promoting uh, art, artism, and uh, the culture of Pakistan, so I just wanted to say this is the event to project the Pakistan through image color as well as the beauty of Islamabad. So welcome to all. Thank you. Thank you, Faisal. Thank you, Faisal Saab, and thank you for uh, your IF-19. IF-19 is very fortunate to have uh, uh, wonderful artists supporting us from all over Pakistan and the uh, art institutions like uh, National College of Arts, like uh, a Beacon House, like uh, University, <coughs> like Punjab University, uh, Arts Department, Bolustan University, Biotems, uh, Sindh University, Munarkada, <coughs> and many, many curators from all over Pakistan. Uh, Sadia, what's uh, the name of your institute of? Institute of Art and Design. Institute of Art and, no, Art and Design, Art and Culture, which is headed by uh, Sajda Wandel. I cannot name everybody because uh, so many uh, productive people have uh, put in their energies to this festival, which is totally uh, private, totally non-governmental, and uh, I would like this platform to become uh, a movement for art and for the promotion and propagation of art and culture in Pakistan, where art and culture is not a necessity; it is considered something useless. But we maintain that uh, without it, you cannot be. Uh, <clears throat> I would. Because our main Concerts. Concerts. I'm sorry if I forget a few <laughs> names. I'm very bad with names. Sometimes, you know, I, I come across people who have, you know, been very, very close to me and suddenly I forget their name and I pretend that, you know, I know the name but somehow <clears throat> it skips. I'll request uh, a wiki clerk to, you know, <coughs> to share her sentiments with us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for showing up today. I come from <coughs> Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where it is extremely cold and snowy right now. So it's wonderful to be able to be over here in a warm climate and a very, very, very hot cultural environment. Uh, the Carnegie Museum of Art in Pittsburgh has one of the longest continuing exhibitions of international contemporary art, just one year younger than the Venice Biennale. And so I've been lucky enough to be involved in about 10 of those exhibitions during my career. 
and I have seen what it means when artists come together. It's one thing to make work, it's another to get it in a museum, but when you get to talk to people, as a curator myself, I get to meet the artists who are the most generous, sensitive, intelligent, sentient beings you could ever meet. It <coughs> has an amazing influence. And that influence goes from the economy to our well-being as human beings. I'm very lucky to be here in Islamabad for the second time. And I was overwhelmed last time to find so many artists of international caliber working in this country. And I'm excited to be back and see even more and better art. Let's all have a great time and have lots of great discussions and be moved by what we see. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vicky. It was not easy to bring Vicky um, to Islamabad again, although we had discussed this festival way back, uh, maybe in 2017. <clears throat> But I thank uh, the U.S. Embassy's uh, uh, public. Uh, huh? No, uh, I thank Tony and what's the department? I'm very sorry. Public Affairs Office, yeah. Uh, they have been very uh, supportive, very generous, and they somehow uh, you know, brought Wiki back to Islamabad. And we welcome Wiki, and along with the U.S. Embassy, all embassies that we have contacted in Islamabad have been very supportive. Their response was tremendous. Initially, I thought uh, we'll be uh, very happy if we attract about 50 international artists, but uh, it's amazing that we have uh, 230 international artists visiting us, and all the embassies, including uh, the U.S. Embassy, Iranian embassy, the French embassy, the uh, German embassy, the Spanish embassy, even the Saudis, Japanese, uh, Russians, I'll again be forgetting the names, but all of them have uh, responded uh, uh, very, very warmly. I went to them and I requested them to, that, uh, to, to bring their artists for their round. Yes, I, I've already mentioned. Uh, give the artists, uh, you know, the facility to travel from their countries and bring their work here, and we'll be very happy to offer local hospitality to them. And we are trying to do that. And uh, thank again for Serena and uh, some other. Uh, uh, I would uh, also like to mention the mayor of Islamabad, who should have been the. The, the, the host of uh, this festival and when we approached him and he uh, understood the concept, he responded uh, very positively and we have tremendous support from uh, uh, Sheikh Ansar, the mayor, and uh, uh, Zishan Nakvi, the deputy mayor who is sitting with us. Thank you, Nakvi Saab. Thank you very much. Nakvi Saab will be inviting us to Shaladitha Caves for a dinner, which is a beautiful place, and all of us will be uh, going there. I'm not imposing this dinner on him. It's his own invitation. PTV, PTV is our uh, uh, official media partner. So I'll, I'll request uh, uh, our curator, <coughs> Rahat Masood, to share a few words with us. <coughs> Thank you, thank you, Jaman. Actually, I think this is a great initiative. And as everyone has said, it is one of the biggest festivals that has that has been taking place, not only in Islamabad but in Pakistan. Um, actually, art through art, you know about the people, the land, the culture. And I think it is so important to have such functions, to have such events. And I feel so privileged to be here, to be part of this festival. And um, uh, it's wonderful to see all uh, comrades, all artists, curators, friends from abroad, 
and uh, so I, I wish the uh, festival great success, and I'm sure it's going to be wonderful for everyone here. Thank you. Thank you, Rahat. Like Rahat, uh, I responded and uh, tried to contribute my work there, so he owed me a favor, and I asked him to come here, and he's uh, here with his uh, tons of coal and <laughs> metal. I mean, I would like to say, uh, to request you to say something. Salam alaikum ji, I'm a musicologist, <coughs> I'm a curator, I'm an artist, and my practice deals with installation, sculpture, and performance. What I've brought to Islamabad is an installation titled Seven. It's inside Gallery 11. In Seven, I've taken one sentence from Arabic, read it in the Nakshi script, and I've divided the sentence into seven parts. It can no longer be read, so it can be only viewed emotionally. And, this, and these letters are continued throughout <coughs> my installation of Seven. I would like to thank Jamal Shah for bringing me down and for his incredible work that he did for Karachi Binali 2017, of which I was chief curator. His work engaged the public. It was outside in the grounds of Prayer Hall and engaged hundreds if not thousands of people over a period of a week, I think, of festivity. Art does not belong to the elite. Art belongs to everybody. And it is so very important that these sort of events are held and art is accessible by all. Thank you, Amin Goji. Thank you, Amin. Thank you, Ahmad Masood, who is the great grandson uh, of uh, Sir Sayyid Ahmad. When he heard about this uh, festival, he called me, said, Jamal, why aren't you using uh, Sir Sayyid Memorial Building? I said, why not? We desperately need spaces and it will be good. When I went there, it turned out that uh, the facility uh, was worth uh, everything. It is the biggest facility in Islamabad, but lying vacant. And uh, Sir Sayyid Memorial Space is going to become our number one venue. And I'm very thankful to uh, Ahmed Masood and the caretaker committee of Sir Sayyid Memorial to have offered uh, this fantastic space to us, which is going to house uh, over 100 uh, or 100 artists there uh, for offering us uh, this space very generously for free. Uh, he deserves claps. I'm touched by Jamil Naksh's exhibition when he was still alive I had spoken uh, with the, uh, you know, his family and communicated with him also, and he had agreed that he'll exhibit in PNCA. So PNCA is very lucky uh, to be housing an exhibition uh, by one of the, you know, very very important artists of Pakistan. I'll request Sizan uh, uh, to share a few words with us. Yeah. <coughs> Good evening everyone. I welcome you all here and I'd like to congratulate the entire IF team who have worked dedicatedly uh, to make this thing happen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are representing Jamila's Museum, me and Sophia. And we are running this museum since 1999. We have been doing shows, uh, private uh, shows. But this is the first time we are coming at such a big event. And thank you, Jamal Shah, that you invited and given us the opportunity to present one of the few finest artists this country has ever produced. So it's an honor for the IF as well and for us as well to participate in this show. And as Jamal Shah has said, this show is also an opportunity to present the true color of Pakistan. And initially when I was in the discussion, he corrected me, not the soft image, but the true image. So IF will be an opportunity, will be a platform to show the true image of Pakistan. I thank you all for uh, giving us the opportunity, <laughs> and I hope this show will be a big success. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you very much.
I cannot uh, forget uh, the behind scenes support uh, of our dear friend and colleague Amna Patodi, who uh, is actually not allowed to sit here. She is the vice president of uh, Islamabad Art Festival, but her official uh, uh, position restricts her. She has been a very, uh, uh, you know, beautiful support to IF19 from day one. She was the one who actually suggested that uh, this idea, when Amna Shah presented this idea to Amna Bhutodi, she brought it to me and said that uh, it can, it has the potential of becoming a big event in Pakistan and it uh, is turning out to be the, one of the uh, most meaningful events in Pakistan. Clap to Arna. I don't know if I should ask uh, Amna Shah to say something or not because it will be, uh, you know, like uh, monopolizing the time. But still, uh, <laughs> well, thank you very much <clears throat> for everybody's support. I cannot uh, uh, name every artist of Pakistan uh, because all of you have contributed your tremendous energies to this exhibition. All the curators, Noshi sitting there, Sadia, Sumaira, and uh, Fais, uh, Arjuman Faisal is also there. Thank you very much. Uh, I cannot remember everybody's name, but please uh, accept my heartfelt thanks. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, we will be here. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I keep on forgetting my friends. Andre Bose, my friend, uh, is a wonderful human being. And he uh, was one of the, you know, very important uh, energies which uh, persuaded me to go forward. And he offered uh, very meaningful support in terms of uh, French artists' presence here. Andre, could you please? Yeah. Actually, uh, two years back when we first uh, discussed this project of festival, I told uh, Jamal to come to France. We invited him to go around and see uh, the type of festivals we are organizing each year in France. We have hundreds of festivals. God he likes with some ideas, and uh, so here we are today. Uh, I'm not speaking only on, the, on behalf of the <coughs> French Embassy because we have shared this uh, project with a number of colleagues. Some are here today US, Spain, uh, 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 Iran, uh, Russia, Italy, Indonesia, Italy, yeah. Indonesia China, Japan, Turkey, yeah. Turkey. Sorry. And um, so gradually over, over the year, uh, they came and took part to this uh, festival. Uh, today, uh, our contribution this week, uh, next week, will be f uh, by a photographic exhibition, painting exhibition. We have a curator from the, the Louvre Museum who is a specialist of mobile art and a specialist also of video games. We have an art, uh, a sociologist, anthropologist, uh, who is a specialist in uh, Kalash culture. Uh, so we diversified our offer to exchange artists from France and other countries present here tonight, and uh, artists from <coughs> Pakistan. The uh, dance troupe, which is going to perform next week, We'll have interaction with uh, workshops, uh, with uh, several workshops with the uh, dancers from Pakistan. So it's a beautiful initiative. Uh, we are glad to be part of it, and uh, we thank uh, Jamal uh, for his uh, determination to make it happen, uh, in spite of the hurdles. But uh, wish you all big success. Thank you, thank you, Andre. Well, I uh, keep on forgetting some very, very important uh, elements like 
Uh, we are getting the whirling dervishes from Turkey. We are getting two very high-powered uh, troop base from China, one from uh, uh, Ningxia province, another Kobe. We are going to get uh, a troop A from uh, Palestine. We are getting a troop A from the U.S. called BBB, Ballet Beyond Borders, which is a group of fantastic uh, contemporary ballet dancers. Uh, they include uh, a multinational uh, you know, cast, I would say, Brazilians, Mexicans, Cubans, and they're bringing uh, the Native American dancers also. Uh, they were, uh, we also are going to be receiving shadow puppet from uh, China. Uh, we are getting dances from Indonesia. Uh, the Swiss embassy uh, have contributed uh, in terms of artists and, uh, and an expert, Dr. Dalma, will be here talking about uh, very, very important issues of art. There are many, many things that uh, will actually engage uh, everybody. It has uh, something for everybody. Uh, our discursive component is very important and then we, it also has an educational component. We want to engage our children from kindergarten to uh, metric at least to, you know, become conscious of their surroundings and their culture. They should be cultural, uh, culturally sensitive sensitive to their cultural heritage. And this festival is going to provide them an, an excellent opportunity to witness the works of uh, so many international artists and local artists and interact with them. Even if, uh, uh, you know, it boils down to just taking a picture with them. We are going to be uh, hosting a very uh, interesting artist from UK. Spike, who's a performance artist, he'll be, you know, uh, wearing uh, characters and roaming around and interacting with people. There are many, many things uh, which will, uh, I think, uh, entertain, educate, and excite people and motivate people to maybe, you know, think about something more meaningful. Thank you very much. If you have uh, questions, we are here to answer. Jamal, sir, please, uh, the Iranian <coughs> Oh, to I'm sorry. Raza Kaka, uh, Iran, <laughs> cultural counselor from Iran is here. Uh, we are getting three very important artists from Iran and a culture to pay. Uh, I would request uh, Raza Kaka to say a few words. استعادہ شدہ میں تھا ہے کہ یہ اسلام آباد آرٹ فیسٹیول ہم نے اس لیے منقض کیا کہ ہم سمجھتے ہیں کہ آرٹ اور کلچر ایک ایسی ضرورت ہے نیسیسٹی ہے کہ جس کے بغیر زی ہوش کو انسان کو زندہ رہنا یا بے معنی یا پھر ناممکن ہو جاتا ہے انسان کے لیے اس لیے کہ آرٹ اور کلچر انسان کو ایک ایسے گہرے رشتے میں اپنے گرد و پیش کے ساتھ جوڑتا ہے جو بیق وقت تنقیدی بھی ہوتا ہے اور کریئیٹیو بھی ہوتا ہے اور تنقیدی اور کریئیٹیو اور انٹیمیٹ ہونے کی وجہ سے جو انفرمیشن ملتی ہے وہ انفرمیشن بڑی آثنٹک ہوتی ہے انٹیمیٹ ہوتی ہے اور وہ انفرمیشن آپ کو آگاہ کر دیتا ہے آگاہی ایک ایسی طاقت ہے جو آپ کو بولڈ بنا دیتی ہے اور آپ جب بولڈ ہو جاتے ہیں آگاہ ہو جاتے ہیں تو پھر آپ کنجوس نہیں رہتے بلکہ شیئر کرنا شروع کر دیتے ہیں اور جب آپ شیئر کرنا شروع کرتے ہیں تو آپ ایجنٹ آف چینج بن جاتے ہیں اور معاشرے کو آگے بڑھانے بہتر بنانے زیادہ خوبصورت رہنے کی قابل جگہ بنانے میں ایک بہت اہم کردار ادا کرتے ہیں جیسے سیاست معاشرے کو بدلتی ہے آرٹ بھی معاشرے کو اسی طرح سے بدلتا رہتا ہے انسانی تاریخ کی شروعات سے لے کے آرٹ نے اب تک انسان کو آگے بڑھایا ہے کبھی بھی کسی سوسائیٹی کو کبھی کسی سیولیزیشن کو آرٹ نے ڈیسٹرائن نہیں کیا 
سائنس سے بعض اوقات یہ غلطی ہو چکی ہے کہ وہ مس یوز ہو سکا ہے لیکن آٹھ باوجود کوشش کے مس یوز نہیں ہو سکتا اس لیے ضرورت اس بات کی ہے کہ ہمارے جو ڈیسیشن میکرز ہیں میں یہ کہتا ہوں کہ ہمارے ڈیسیشن میکرز جو ہیں وہ سیلف سٹائل ڈیسیشن میکرز ہیں لیکن چلیں خیر ہے اگر ہمارے ڈیسیشن میکرز کو ایک پوزیٹیو بیماری لگ جائے اور وہ آرٹ اور کلچر کو نیسیسٹی سمجھیں اور اس کو بھرپور جگہ دیں تو اس ملک کا جو ٹرو پوٹینشل ہے وہ بڑی آسانی سے سامنے آ سکتا ہے یہاں کوئی کسی کے آگے ہاتھ نہیں پھیلائے گا کوئی کسی کے آگے نظریں نہیں جھکائے گا کوئی ولریبل نہیں ہوگا سب بہت بولڈ ہو کے خوبصورت انداز سے پوری دنیا کے ساتھ مکالمہ کرنے کو تیار ہوں گے اور اس ملک کو بہت آگے بڑھا سکتے ہیں اس ملک کی اکانومی کے جواب بھی آرٹ اور کلچر میں ہیں لہٰذا یہ بہت ضروری ہے کہ آرٹ اور کلچر کو اس کی جائز جگہ دی جائے ہمارے ملک میں بہت شدید ضرورت ہے کہ کلچرل انفرسٹرکچر بڑا مضبوط ہو آج تک کسی گورنمنٹ نے اس طرف توجہ نہیں دی ہے ضرورت اس بات کی ہے کہ گورنمنٹ سہولتیں دے فسیلٹیز دے لوگوں کو کہ وہ خود کلچرل انفرسٹرکچر تشکیل دے بنائیں اس میں انویسٹ کرے اس لیے کہ آرٹ اور کلچر فیزیبل ہے ہر طرح سے اور یہ زندگی کو بھی فیزیبل بناتا ہے خوبصورت بناتا ہے اور انسان کو توانائی بخشتا ہے یہ فیسٹیول ہم نے صرف اس لیے کیا ہے کہ لوگوں کو ہم یہ پیغام بڑے میٹھے انداز سے کھیلتے کھیلتے دے سکیں میں نے یہ بالکل نہیں سمجھتا کہ آرٹ جو ہے وہ اے پولیٹیکل ہوتا ہے آرٹ ایک آرٹسٹ اگر پولیٹیکل ریالیٹی سے نہ واقف ہو تو وہ آرٹسٹ بہت محدود ہوتا ہے لہٰذا آرٹسٹ کے لیے بہت ضروری ہے کہ وہ آگاہ ہو اور اس کی آگاہی ملٹرائی ڈیمیشنل ہو یا کرکھی نہ ہو سے جہتی ہو بلکہ کئی جہتے ہو تو تب ہمارے معاشرے میں بہت سارے مسائل حل ہو سکتے ہیں ہم ایک دوسرے کے زیادہ قریب آ سکتے ہیں زیادہ بہتر طریقے سے ایک دوسرے کو پہچان سکتے ہیں ایک دوسرے کے سائے سے ڈرنا ہم چھوڑ سکتے ہیں تینکیو جی